On today's episode of Mummy's Point, we discuss if we're in a simulation. <laughs> Whether I'd like to get chased by a snail for money. And why I should learn a sexy Spanish accent. <laughs> Remember to give this video a like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Take that smirk off your face. I don't know, it doesn't bode well. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy. <laughs> With me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and one in a million mother, Aww. Lisa, say hello, mum. Hello. Deep down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart. <laughs> and in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. But sometimes my mum needs help too. <laughs> TikTok, social media, viral videos, celebrities, these are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head around. So I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Mm. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. Over to you in the field, Lisa. Gosh, that was terribly impressive, wasn't it? That was and you actually said, and you, oh, no, and you actually did, did, said did, did, digital did, did, age <laughs> correctly. So excellent. No, no pressure on moi. So if you're in need, oh, right. So over in the field. So. If you're in need of advice, or even just have a question or a story that you're desperate for Arthur's mum to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod, or send us a message or even a voice note <laughs> to WhatsApp on 07822 013 837. And no matter what the issue I will ask her in a feature I like to call Mum. Can we talk? Oh, oh. Uh, oh li la, la, li Lisa, Lucy, Lisa. Lucy, Lucy, Lisa. <laughs> oh, it's oh. a serious episode. I'm just going to continue to be serious. Shall we continue? For the rest. Um, hello, Mum. Hello. Um, would you rather oh. have a hundred pounds, hundred pounds, hundred thousand pounds oh, yes, right now? Oh, or? That's yours forever. Oh. You know? Or would you rather have 10 million, but there's a snail chasing you mm. for the rest of your life <laughs> and you can't get rid of it? A snail? A snail. And if it catches you, you die. Ah. Oh. Well, a snail's not going to get very far. No, but but who, who came up with this idea? Is that you, Jack? It's, it's a big question. Well, it... But, uh... <laughs> Uh, okay, so... Because you've got to think about, like, sure, you can just, you well, know, you can go about your daily life, but then think how much ground it will gain when, when every, you're asleep. When you're asleep, it's going to sneak up on you with could its you really slime. Could you really enjoy, like, could you really ever have a good sleep, knowing that you could that wake Mr. up snail. and there could be a snail? I don't really like snails. Well, I don't like the slimy bit. It'll be awful as well. You might not know that it's touched you as well. I hadn't even thought about that. And it could just come and you just feel a, a split second of saliva mm. sort of wetness on your ankle <laughs> and then you're dead Ooh. well quite a nice way to go yeah i wonder if it Actually, is it a painful mind. death that, that changes thing a painful death oh it's a painful it's a severely painful, it's it, a severely it, painful it, death it, from a snail <laughs> it beats you up <laughs> so. oh so it's evil snail well i my 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 first um, reaction to that would be I'd rather have £100,000, thank you very much. That would do me nicely. Yeah. I don't need £10 million, No. Really. But, you know. yeah, I think, I mean, but, you could go to the other end of the world and think how much time you've got there. Assuming it didn't get on the plane. Well, I was going to say, surely he's going to come in your hand luggage, well, isn't he? Well, no, Mr. but if you snail. run, if you run, if you get a car, to, if, you're, if we're here right now and, and yes. we, this becomes a real this life thing... We z yeah. we get in a taxi to the air airport. You do, yes, and then go to Australia. Yes, and like just check, you know, the the snail. Yeah, but the snail's probably already been put in my bag, hasn't he? Put in your bag. Yes, there's no one else in on it. Well, it's where the does snail. the ten million come from? What? Where does the ten million come from in the first place? I'm given ten million. What do you mean? Where does the ten million come well, from? What? <laughs> The ten million is just a prize. Well, yes, not, but the ten million's got to uh, be. What, what do you want me to? That it's deducted no, from Arthur. the tax of the public. I don't, no, what, what? Arthur, the, the ten. Mm, the ten million has got to come from somewhere. 
So whoever is offering the 10 million <laughs> is also is also putting the snail on your Such trail. Is that just too logical? way of looking at it. Is you, it? Are you a boomer? I can't oh, remember. I have no idea. Millennial, boomer. Of course I'm fucking you're a boomer. not. I'm a- ancient. No, but the ten. You're, what's you're imagining like an evil man is sort of is yes, watching, there's a man is watching somewhere this. Is part, with like a, a Truman in a, Show with type a thing. With a snail in a matchbox. <laughs> no. And the minute I say, yes, I'll go for the 10 million, he plants the snail somewhere near me and then it's game on. Yeah, but that's, that's exactly what, I, what I'm just saying. So say it started. Yes, okay. And he's gone, and then <laughs> the snail's over there, and it's coming. Kind of, right, I'm yes. going to go. I'm going to go to the airport. Go. It's not going to beat you to the airport, is it? No, but he's probably in my bag. That's what I said, or in but my pocket. It's pockets. going for you, right? This is. I don't ridiculous. understand. I, I think I take I, the hundred grand as well. Oh, okay. Well, there yeah, we go. Just, we'll both have the hundred grand, to please. Stop this conversation. Thanks. <laughs> so thanks to Jack for that question, yeah. and we'll have the hundred grand. Thanks. Mm. Yeah. Do we get it at the end of the podcast? What if it was an owl that was chasing you there? Ah, oh, well no. now, you see. Well now. Actually, I wouldn't, well now. Well now. I wouldn't like to be chased by an owl. I don't mind the idea of being chased by a snail until mm. I realise that he's got nastiness on his is mind. There anything you'd be, <laughs> is there anything you'd be chased by for a, your life for like a billion? No. Turtle? A turtle? Oh, then it, yeah. No, they're quite sweet. So what's slow, a turtle or a Tortoise. No idea. Turtles can swim, can't Tortoise? they? Tortoise, turtle. They are two different things, aren't they? It's not well, they are, but... Male. No. No. <laughs> Didn't you have a t- tortoise that ran away? <laughs> well, when I was a child, yes, we did have a tortoise that ran away. Which was a bit embarrassing. It was chasing after someone mm. for 10 million. For a million, million pounds. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. right. Okay. Um, but well, that uh, was that. We random. went straight into that one, yeah. Um, how, was, how have you been though? Uh, well, I, I thought Despite I was okay, that. but now I'm beginning to think mm. maybe I've actually lost the plot and I'm living on another planet entirely. So it's, it's a simulation. Is it? Yeah. I've not seen the Matrix. No. Oh, actually, mm. I think I have, but I didn't get it. So oh, I'll you have seen it. Yeah, I think I have seen it. I studied it in media. Oh, did you? Form, yeah. Oh, that was exciting. And now I believe we live in a simulation. Oh, I see. Funnily enough, I did have a conversation with Papa, who's not very well, um, and uh, he he's got an infection at the moment, so his his mind's gone a bit do lally. Right, and so he's been having dreams about meeting the Queen, nice. which is you know, um, and and various other things. And I've had to keep saying to him, "Well, actually, Dad, you know, that's because you've got this infection, and soon you'll be feeling better, and then you you won't be seeing these things." And then it was all fine for a bit, and then he looked at me and said, "Well, how do I know you're really here?" Oh, and I was a bit like, "Well, you've just got to trust me that oh you are." God. And he says, "Yeah, but that's that's what everybody else says," and and, he's, and he was saying that they were putting on propaganda on the television and they were showing, you know, that we're all being brainwashed what? and that I've ah. been brainwashed and blah blah blah. Anyway, so yeah, woke. so we are in the we are in a simulation. Yeah, it's taken Perhaps. ninety-five years. Ninety-five he's years. Finally woken he's up. Finally realised. Woken up to being woke. It's not fucking real. Who was that That's supposed wrong. to be? Matthew McConaughey, I think. I think. Oh, I thought it was Trump gone a bit wrong. Oh, no. Was he <laughs> looked a bit Trumpy, didn't it, it? Wolf of Wall Street, maybe? Oh, oh I didn't see that. <laughs> he does like a sort of whistle. <laughs> oh, this is going to annoy me. <laughs> it, oh, fuck. Oh. It's all, it's all. <laughs> it's not fucking real. <laughs> no. Is it? Oh, I wish I could do a better Matthew McConaughey. It's very satisfying. To Is do. he the one who was in? Um... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, no, I just. Uh, what would you have seen in Dallas Buyers Club? Yes. Yeah. Thank amazing. you. Amazing. Oh my the, god. The reconnaissance. Who... Reconna what? Macon reconnaissance. No. Oh, I had a god. I'm really not with it. In 2014, Matthew McConaughey did like four amazing. TV shows and movies. Did he? All in the same year. He did four in one year. He, he did, did Interstellar, which we have watched, and I was annoyed that he didn't like it. I don't remember so him being there, in like, it. I was like crying when he's crying on oh, screen. Yeah. When was that Sandra Bullock? When they get separated. Yeah, he goes to space, and then yes. like, but, but time goes oh, different, and then he keeps so then she's grown back. up. Well, like she comes 50, back. Somebody comes years. back. She's grown up 30 years, and then he sees all the video messages. He's been gone like a couple hours. Oh, God, I can't but remember. But then she's grown up. Older than him. Was it Sandra Bullock? No. 
Oh, I'm thinking wasn't. of something else. Something else to do with And space. he also did... So he did Interstellar. Yeah. Wolf of Wall Street, which he wasn't in a lot, but he was very good in it. I see that. I think it's from that he scene. That it's going to bug me. <laughs> yeah. As well. So Fugazi, 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 Fugazi. It's not fucking real. Oh, what is that from? How do I know the quote? I can see don't it. Know. And I can't. Can you? Do you not know it either? I that. Yeah. Fugazi, Fugazi. Um, okay. What else did he do? Pump those numbers up. Four amazing um, things that he did. Interstellar. Interstellar. God. Wolf of Wall, Wolf Street. Of Wall Street. True Detective, which I think I've spoken about. Maybe to you, not on the pod. I no. finished it recently. Holy shit! It's like the best thing I've ever seen. Oh. So like a only series, series, only series, only season yes. one is good. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's a but shame. But it's so good. It was like the best. It, you'd like it, I think. It's a, it's a detective thing. I like a detective and thing. And it's like it's him and him and um, <laughs> him, Vera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I watched one episode of that with you. I was like, this is the most. I really fear the point where I like sit down and look forward to this shit. <laughs> Sunday nights aren't the same without Vera. Oh God, no! Oh. Although Death in Paradise has come back, you'll be pleased to know. <laughs> that show. <laughs> I enjoyed it at the start, and uh, surely it's like that on Midsummer Murders. <laughs> oh, Midsummer Murders! How can is how can people still live there? The amount of murders because go so on many at this bloody die. island. This is, I know it's hysterical. One every day. One every week. Sometimes more than one a day. Mm. I don't know how he kept his job as a detective. Not, they can't really call it paradise anymore. No. More like hell. Indeed. Death in Death hell. Death in hell. <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway, we haven't got to the end of Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey, McConaughey. yeah, somehow we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the four. Were they? Did we get the fourth one? I think we did. No, we didn't. <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street. No, we, I did. Wolf of Wall Street, Interstellar. Dallas Buyers Club and True Detective. Oh, okay, yeah. But I, honestly, it, it's on Now TV. It was okay. from like 2014. Him okay. and I'll give that a go. Oh, him and oh, oh, Wo Woody Harrelson. Have you seen it? Oh, oh Woody oh, Harrelson. Did you like cool. it? Oh, it's so good. Yeah. And it was yeah, just amazing. Well, yeah, he's very just... handsome as well. Woody I Harrelson. Think. No, uh, Christ. Mm. No, the uh, thing. Yeah, Matthew. but they're like they're just such a funny <laughs> dynamic in it. It was really good. I think I need to lie down. Would you stop saying weird shit? Uh, I'll do my best. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? I can't remember. Oh, snails no and Matthew snails, McConaughey. turtles and Matthew McConaughey. And real. Fugazi, Fugazi. Yeah. Fugazi, Fugazi. Fugazi, Fugazi. Fugazi, Fugazi. Uh, sounds like, a, sounds like a, an opera aria. Fugazi, mm. Fugazi. 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 Spaghetti. Spaghetti, no. That no. feels offensive now. But does it? I think me and George might sign up to do a Spanish class. Not that that was Spanish. But I wanted to Why? learn Italian, but I feel like it's probably the most pointless one to learn. Unless you go Why? to... Well, because Spanish... Why is, is Spanish more useful than Italian? Like, like, well, I don't know what the percentage is, but like 30% of the world speaks it. Does I don't it? Know if that's correct. But, uh, I think you made that up. It, uh, like, no, like, it's... Oh, but Italian's you think, such No, but think a of like Spain language. and then like South America... Yeah, and, true. You know, um, Mexico. 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 Mm. But Italian's sexier, isn't it? You know? Oh, yeah. But then I guess if I put on a voice with it, I'm worried I'd learn Spanish and do the sort of high thing. <laughs> high thing? You know, like I, I, you know, I'm imagining my dream scenario. I learn Spanish. I'm, I'm in Spain. I've brought my new lady along to Spain. Mm. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to impress her that she doesn't know that I speak Spanish. In oh. Barcelona, the sun is setting. Mm. Um, tell you what, you, you'd be the you'd oh be no. the wait you'd be, <laughs> oh God, you'd be no. the wait the waitress. Come over. Um, I can't speak Spanish, Arthur. You're an English waitress. Oh, thank you. That's because we're in Benidorm. Obviously, because that's where I'd take. Of course, you would. Because it's, it's very classy romantic. And yeah, romantic. I've just got my England tattoo. Oh, nice. I've shaved my head. Oh, even better, gorgeous. <laughs> I've fought four other blokes on the street. Have you got a nice vest Because there was only one packet of Lay's left in the shop. One packet of what left? Lay's. Lay's. Crisps. Oh, come on. I literally oh. have memory. You've, you have them every year we go away. I didn't know they were called Lay's. Lay's, the walkers. 
But I they're don't lays. No. Ah. You I literally <laughs> thought you were talking about condoms. That makes Condoms? More... <laughs> 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 How, I can't even like you must have gone like, like, away lays. like thirty times like to France and Spain. They have lays. Never knew they were called cool, that. I know you get hit biscuits. I'd love to know why they are. Like, it, it must the be the middle. same company, right? Yeah. I don't know. I get a what? Did you just say? <laughs> hit biscuits. I can't hit remember. Hit biscuits. Yeah. Don't tell me you don't no, know I what don't, hit biscuits I are. I know BN biscuits. BN, oh, the BN is, yeah, yeah there's yeah. BNs Milka as well. Milka and all that. Mil Ugh, they're horrible. Is that like Milka? No. Okay. Anyway, you're a waitress. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. We're in Benidorm. With okay. my new lady who I'm trying to impress. Hola. Hola, como estás? Oh, I'm all right. Thank you, darling. <laughs> How are you? You in here for brunch? Sí, señorita. Oh, get you. Aren't you cute? Mm, oh. Me, me hablo en mis productos en pescante, mi pata. Oh, I love it when you talk like that. <laughs> I bet your girlfriend likes it. Do you talk like that in bed? Do you? Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> what do you want, darling? Oh, what did she say? Uh, those, those <laughs> full English breakfast, please. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I'd probably end up just being like, those English breakfast. Yeah, exactly. You know, I think I'd end up not having the sexy run. I'd have the sort of high pitched. No. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Com what's, how are you? Como estas? Como estas? Yes, como estas? Oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio Banderas. Oh, oh. Mm, Puss in Boots. I loved him as Puss in mm. Boots. That little face. Oh, yes, just like that. Oh. Shrek. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what he says. I don't know what he says. Is that what he says? I don't know. Yes. Well, he, does, he puts his paws together and yeah, he does. Fugazi. Fugazi. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fucking real. It's mommy's boy. Right, Mum, yes. before we take a break, yes. let's play a classic game of two lies and a truth. Oh, let's. I'm going to tell you three things, and you have to guess which is the truth. Yeah. I'll give you the answer in part two. Brilliant. Ready? Yeah. What is the title of my most watched TikTok video? Oh, what? A, pretending to be in a musical at the dinner table. Ooh. B, Pretending to be in a Disney movie at the dinner table. <laughs> or C, pretending to be Voldemort at the dinner table. Oh. Mm. Most watched on TikTok? Yes. Only? Yes. Yes. Join us in part two, where we'll find out the answer and for Mum Can We Talk? Correspondence. <laughs> <laughs> It's mommy's boy. Welcome back <laughs> to the simulation. Very shortly, <laughs> we'll be getting to your mum, can we talk correspondence. But first, before the break, I asked you, what is the title of my most watched TikTok video? You did. Pretending to be in a musical at the dinner table. Because it tastes like shit. Yes, I remember that. Pretending to be in a Disney movie at the dinner table. Oh, I don't know about that one. No, right. I think that one might have been shit. No, I think it was. Wasn't it? Oh, no. Yeah, this dinner's ruined my night. Oh, I swear it tastes like horror shit. There you are, you see. So the first one comes people, have been shit. Yeah, and then C, pretending to be Voldemort at the dinner table. Also, what was ah! that? <laughs> Fucking hell. Sorry if you have your headphones on. Um, so what what was the first one then? If it was just being musical. in a musical, yeah, I know, but what was it? I can't remember. Why can't pretending to be in a musical? I, yes, I know, but what what's the matter with you? What, because you, what do you want me to? What do you? Well, you've just what was it? Shown me. You've just explained what the Disney one was. It was about yeah, and I did the one before as well. You didn't. Here we go. I'm going to pretend to be in a musical again over dinner. Mother, this meal is so dry. I told you we should have ordered Thai. Yeah. Is that the original one? I thought that that was the second one. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, right. Okay. So, I would like to think 
it's the first one because I'm in that. Right. But it won't be. Are you in all of them, you plonker? Don't call me a plonker. Uh, I'm not in all of them. I'm not in the Voldemort one. Am but I? you are in it. Like you're, you're I'm in not. It. I'm sitting there making noises in the background. I'm not in it. Yeah, but you asked me, you're like, why? Anyway. Yeah, anyway. I, I think this is quite an easy one. Okay. I think it's yeah. Voldemort. Correct. The answer is Voldemort. <laughs> I think you've got, that's the first one you've got right in a while. And I, I would have been annoyed if you didn't get this one right. I would have to say. Oh, well, there yeah. you go. Oh, damn, I should have lied. Mm. I should have got it wrong on purpose. Any idea how many views? Just an added bonus question. 15. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know how many views is good. Go on. Have a guess. Um, okay. Uh, 5,000. Are you serious? My most po you think I've never had more than 5,000 views? Okay, more than that. A, mil a million. A million. Don't be silly. Oh, okay. Well, God. 33 Fif million views. Stop it. Yeah. That's just on TikTok. No, is that a joke? No. Did you really not know that? No. Yeah, 30 33 million. 33 million? Million. Yeah. Million. Uh, yeah, and then about the same on Instagram, and then like about the same on Facebook. So it's about we're re looking at a little hundred million there. That's really weird. People yeah. are strange, aren't they? Made a solid five hundred quid from that. Thanks, Zuck. Did you? Yeah. Well, you know. But I entertained millions. Millions. And so did you. I was going to say, I didn't earn anything. No. What's going on? True. Mm. Oops. 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 Hey, hey mum. Yep. Can we talk? Must we? Correspondence. Yeah. Oh, stop it with your correspondence. Shall we dive in? Yeah, let's. Hell yeah. Question one. <laughs> ah, from Ola. 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 Hey, Arthur. And the magnificent Mama Hill. Oh, she's nice. I'm Ola. Shouldn't it be Ola? I'm someone. <laughs> um, I'm Ola. And greetings from Indonesia. Oh, wow. That's cool. Goodness me. First, I want to say that I love your songs, Arthur. Oh, thank you, Ola. Oh, I welcome. love the way you sing. It's just so adorable. Adorable. Thank you. Ola. Adorable. Yeah, that's nice. Is my singing adorable? No, I. Right. Well, the Rolling Stones adorable? No. No. But maybe God, some it, of I your... need to do more drugs. No, you don't, My favourite would be Bride and Gloom. Oh. Gosh, I love that tune. Oh. Anyway, I'll be turning 20 next Wednesday, and I'm definitely a little bit worried about that. So the question is, have you got any tips or advice for entering the 20s? Oh, my goodness wow. me. Hola. Hola. So, very long time ago. I'm not sure mm. I can remember. Anything what about what was going on when you were in your twenties? What was going on when I was? Oh, I was very busy and important, and I had a lovely time. Chamberlain think... announced the first war. No, you're war. very amusing. Um, um, my twenties. What would I? What was I? Well, you're in I the now. I was traveling. No, but turning twenties. Mm. I would say your twenties is for learning and learning from your mistakes. You know. He's so full of shit. I'm not. Oh, you know, that. people. I think more and more pressure is being put on our twenties when, you know, the world around us is crumbling. We are the bastions of this earth, <laughs> and we, you know, know everyone around us is fucking it for us. But we must, you know, despite don't put pressure on yourself, Ola. I don't know what the situation is like in Indonesia, but, mm. um, you know, when Mum was. In her 20s, she probably was expected to move out by a certain age. I already had. Okay. But, you know, there's a cost of living crisis. And um, I don't know if that applies in Indonesia. I'm not sure how that works. But just follow your heart in your 20s. And, um, you know, in your 30s is, you know, when you knuckle down. Time to and, knuckle down. Yeah. Find out when you, you find out what you know, what, you find out what you know, what you want. You find out what you want. Do you? <laughs> In your 20s, you find out what you want. I got that from Gandhi. <laughs> yeah. I don't think yeah. so. Um, enjoy them. Enjoy, yes, I would definitely agree with that. Mm. Yes, enjoy your 20s. 
uh, try and take notice of what's going on in the world, even though you think, although actually I think young people now are much more sort of um, engaged with it, aren't they? They're actually trying to make a difference. Whereas when I was in my 20s, I just thought I was for the older people to deal with. Really? Definitely. What in terms of like... Well, politics and stuff. Mm. It was like, oh no, they'd all deal with that. But oh, actually no, they've I all made such just... a mess of it that younger people have now... Mm. I think it's true in, in a certain, like it's in extreme examples, we're more active in that sense. But I feel like mm. the majority of lot, like especially the British politics, we don't really care. Yes, we do. But like, but I mean, like, the, everyone sucks. You, yes. So there's not really, you know, what is it's all just going really wrong. Um, Oh dear. So I enjoy That's it. It's gone a bit depressing. Enjoy it before In, it all crumbles. Before it all crumbles. Before the oil runs out. Yes. And the world and the burns. Russians turn off the gas. Because you might not make 30, Ola. But make sure you stream my music until you die. Arthur. Oh, I thought you were following up. No, no, I wasn't. No, no I. Thank you, Ola. Um, so what, did, what was our I final answer? I feel a bit answer? sad now. No, no, sorry. Enjoy your 20s. I'm having a great time. I didn't for the first four. Rubbish. I didn't. What do you mean? I didn't have a good time. What, for the last four years you yeah. haven't had a good time? I would say so. Three years. Ending last, sort of, last year. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's news to me. No, it isn't. Well, I thought, well, well when you were doing your first TikToks and all that, you were enjoying all that, Yeah, you? I mean, lockdown, I was all, I was all well, right, but... Well, that's but everything three else. Three years ago now. But before that, I wasn't good. And then after that, for a while, I wasn't good. Hmm. But, you know, I'm good now. So yeah. uh, thanks for being there, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, mm, this is why we do these yes. things together so we get a chance to catch up mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Let's talk about that. All right. Year depression. Yeah. Okay. Can we have a question too? And hope it's more. Enjoy your 20s, Ola. Jolly. Yeah. Question two from Molly. We've got a voice note. Oh, lovely. Hi, Arthur and Arthur's mum. I've got an embarrassing story. Um, I've seen Arthur Hill 14 times in one year. That's oh, it's it. Molly. That's, it's... Like, that's my embarrassing story. That's all. I know Molly. Oh, bless you. Molly's her. the best. Is she? Molly, I've met Molly, as she says, 14 times. She's 14 come to, times? She's come to every single one of my shows except my headline, which is... She oh. saw she saw me fourteen times last year, oh. which is crazy. Oh. I don't even. I didn't even think I did that many. I was going to say, did you do that many things? Um, I did six with Thomas. Yeah. No, I did more than that. I did ten with Thomas. I think because I did the the UK one and the Europe one. When she came and to she Europe went to all as of well. Them. Yeah, she went to all the Europe dates, and then came to the Apollo. And oh. so maybe that is fourteen. Maybe I've counted wrong. I can't remember how many shows we did. That's a super fan. And then one more. I can't remember where. Yeah. But she's the best. Thanks, Molly. Ooh. Very cool. I hope to see you at my headline. Indeed. Mm. Molly Moonin. Moomin. 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 Is that the Molly thing? Moomin or Molly Moonin? I think it's a nickname. Oh, I see. It's all on Twitter handles. It's hard to remember. Oh, okay. Um, okay. She's very oh. good at drawing as well. Is she? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that's a good talent. Yes, and I'll see you on tour. I hope you continue. You're not ever allowed to miss a show now. Oh, no so pressure. you can next send a voice note in when you hit 100. 100 shows. No. Oh, Question three sweet. from Freya. Hello, Mrs. Hill, my absolute mm. favourite, and <laughs> Arthur, my second favourite. <laughs> I have a bit of a situation and need oh. some good motherly advice. Oh, dear. My best friend is mad at me and has uninvited me from her party. Oh. I don't know what to do. I think it might be because I have expressed my love for her ex-boyfriend's dad. Oh, well, hang on. Yeah, her I'm going to have to reread that. Boyfriend's dad. I sort dad. of zoned out there. I have a bit of a situation. Need some good motherly advice. My best friend is mad at me and has uninvited me from her party. I don't know what to do. I think it might be because I've expressed my love for her ex-boyfriend's dad. Any advice much appreciated. Oh, does she say... She doesn't say how old she is, does she? No. She expressed her... Interest or her love, or her love, her love, for her ex-boyfriend's dad. Well, I don't think that Does matters. Do you mean the friend's ex-boyfriend? 
Yes. We must do, right? I yeah. think so. So in which case, it's all quite far removed, That's very, isn't how, it? How many times do you even meet your friend's boyfriend's dad? Boyfriend's dad. dad. How, you know, how good looking must this guy be? Well, he must be gorgeous, um, mustn't he? He must be, A you dilf. Know. Is that a thing? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Um, dilf. Dilf. I'm not sure any uh, advice. I mean, I feel like... <laughs> well, she needs to it's talk not, to her friend. I'm, I mean, it depends how serious. Mean. And also, has she expressed it to the... To the boyfriend's to the dad. dad. There's lots that's unknown in this story. There is. I think we need more Express my love for ex-boyfriend's you, dad. God, I just want to know, like, was it one time she fell in love, like love at first sight? No. Oh. They were just like dropping dropping them off after school or something? I what you were going to say. <laughs> what did you? Well, nothing. Dropping loose game? What's that? Dropping loose game. You don't know that? I thought we would have spoken. That's a classic. Loose Similar game. on the lines of Riz. You drop loose game. Dropping game on oh. girls. Oh, no. Don't know yeah. that one. Dropping, yeah. No, I thought game. you were going to say she dropped her knickers, is what I thought. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously not. No. Loose game. Yeah. Dropping loose game on the birds at the bar. Oh, well, that was all Dropping loose game. No, that's awful. Me and, my, me and the lad's going to go out and drop some loose game. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, anyway, mm -hmm. um, I, I, yes, I think, Freya, we need a little bit more info. Yeah. Please message to be again, able to Freya. Help you on that um, one. That's a bit. I think it will pass anyway. Yeah, of course you know. it will. Um, and it also does depend on how old she is. Very she true. She might be 14. Mm. She might be 24. I think there's a difference. I mean, yeah. I know there's Good a difference. luck, Freya. Yeah, it's hopefully just a crush and you'll move on. Yes. Because after all, we are the bastions of... Sorry. Right, question four <laughs> from Taz. Taz. T-A-S. Taz. 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 Oh, Taz. I don't know. Yeah. Taz. Hello. This is a rather horrid story for me to recount. Oh, dear. However, oh. if it has the chance of making it on the podcast, I will share. Oh, dear. Earlier this year, my now ex-boyfriend confessed his love to me not long after we started dating. Mm. I was not in love with him. Oh. So I told him I wasn't ready to say it back so soon and spent over an hour trying to get him to understand. Gosh. At this point, it was midnight and I was ready to go home. But when I went to turn on my car, it wouldn't start. And so he had to drive me home. <laughs> it was 30 minutes of pure, awkward silence. Mm. He did have seat warmers, though. So silver linings. Oh, hey. Well, nice. nice. We probably should have ed ended things there, but we actually dated for another few months. And in the end, we broke up when I realized he thought white people were the superior race. Sorry? Sorry? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, dear. This has gone down and taken a turn we weren't expecting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Arthur's gone. Anyway, my question is, have either of you stayed with someone longer than you shouldn't have? And if so, how did you eventually get out of it? <laughs> <laughs> no mention. No mention so of the, actual, the core problem here. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> is that for real? Oh, God. That's um, so funny. That's just not what I thought. That's not what I was expecting at all. My question is, have either of you stayed with a racist for longer than you should have? <laughs> Not even mention it again. I don't know what to say to this. I don't know what to say to that. We can't either. really ignore that. We can't, really we can't ignore that. No, that's... Um, that's um, but it's good well, you, she broke up with him when she realised that. Um, mm. I would love to know the scenario in which it finally came up. Yes. Mm. Wow. Oh, dear, oh, law. Well, and it also goes <laughs> to show that she had... a. <laughs> Quite a good judge of character because from yeah. quite early on she knew she God, didn't yeah. love Imagine him. Imagine if she said she loved him. You know, exactly. And oh, then, with a racist. Ooh, ping. Well, you know, then what would have happened? Um, but, Dear. Uh, yeah, I mean, have you stayed with someone longer than you should have? Um, oh, I'm sure we all have, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. No, Everyone, obviously yeah. not. Um, uh, uh, oh, actually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> now I think about it. Yes, I did. For, and how did you get out of it? 
I don't know. I can't remember. I just, you know, you finally do, don't you? <laughs> what? What? What is it? You just like can't little, like he did have seat warmers though. So silver linings in yes. the paragraph before, and then just being like, but he was racist. Yeah, which is crazy. He really was, wasn't he? Excellent. Um, I think better. Yes. Well. Well. What was her name again? Taz. Taz. Mm. I think. Um, thank, Good riddance. Thank yeah. God you got rid of him, um, Taz. I wonder where he and is. And if now. you do, just if you if you find, I mean, everyone everyone has stayed with someone long. It's sort of. I found there's only so yeah, much you can you... say to people. To get them to do things. That sounds weird. Get them to do things. <laughs> Like what? as friends, you can be like, "Oh, this guy's not good for you," or "This per- this woman, this, this girl isn't good for you," and you'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, but she's this and she's that." Mm. But you've, you've got to realize it yourself, you know. Because after all, we are the bastions. Go be quiet, the- <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like you've no. got to go- no, because people will be like, "Oh, you should get out of this relationship. Like it's not good for you." But and then you, yes, for so you long you be... won't listen because oh, but I love him or something yes. like that. But then you, that, well, a lot of you the just time, have to, think... it has to click for yourself. Yeah, a lot of the time people stay with people because they don't want to hurt them. Yeah, but actually, it's more hurtful mm. to stay, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Question five. Yeah. Okay. From Annalina. Annalina. Nice name. That sounds Italian. Mm, Annalina. Annalina. Hi, Arthur and Mama Hill. Hello. I was recently texting a guy I liked. He was joking about me shoving a beer bottle up his ass. What? Oh, we're back. Oh, we're back in yeah. the room. He was joking about me shoving a beer bottle up his ass. And I thought, lol, that's hilarious. And jokingly said, sure, I would do it. I was pretty drunk at the time. Oh, dear. Oh. We then planned where and when I would do it. What? I was still under the impression he was joking. Turns out he wasn't and was pretty happy the, at the idea of getting a beer bottle oh. shoved up his ass. The next day I reread the chat and my now sober brain realized he wasn't joking at all. I started to panic because I really didn't want to shove up a beer bottle in someone's asshole. <laughs> like imagine if that shit breaks. Sorry, is that a joke? Yeah, clever. Mm. I sent him an apology explaining I couldn't. I felt so bad. Why? Crying emoji. He then texted back and sounded so sad that I actually contemplated shoving the bottle up his ass. <laughs> but I, but else I to didn't. Shove it. Have either of you ever had to let someone down after promising something they are really excited about? Oh, that's ridiculous. These are so funny. When you just <laughs> God, who's, who's this person? How do you person? tell that story then? Just make the question so general. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, that, that's exactly the problem, isn't it? I thought it was going to be, you know, have you ever had this, mm. you know, have you ever been asked have to you, shut <laughs> a bottle up your mates? So. Mm. F- <laughs> what the, what's her oh, name God. again? Uh, Annalena. God, everyone needs to get, they need to. P.S. Just... He was pretty racist as well. Oh, stop what? it. Um, <laughs> I can't remember the question. Have I ever have you, had to. Have either of you had to let someone let down someone after down. promising yes, something they were really excited about? Let people down. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. I mean, how, <laughs> Annalena, when she was texting, right, was obviously saying things like, "Hang on, she's very Italian, isn't she?" Annalina, Annali, Annalina, Annalina, Annalina was saying, mm. "Oh, Mamma Mia, I, I love the fact that you're very mm. excited about this, <laughs> about <laughs> this idea of me shoving a bottle up your <laughs> ass." But I'm not sure about it. Can you explain to me why you think it's such a good idea, please? Because it will pleasure me and make me drunk at the same time. If it is full of alcohol, doing it from the bottom, (laughs) it hits you quicker. Does it? I've heard. Ah, mamma mia! (laughs) I really don't like the idea of it. Can we not have a nice time doing something more normal, like going out for pasta together? No. I wanted a beer bottle shoved up on my ass. Well, (laughs) mamma mia, I think it's not a good idea. Nice. What? You did a rhyme. Did I? (laughs) What did I say? You said, Mamma Mia, it's not a good idea. Oh, I'm a poet. Mm. And I didn't know it. <laughs> off, off, off. 
<laughs> right, this episode needs to, needs to end. <laughs> needs to end. So, end scene. End scene. End scene. Sorry, Annalena, if you Annalena, sound like that. pull yourself together. Just don't, don't do, don't just find yourself a yeah. better bloke. That's ridiculous. Better bloke. I think that's the answer to a lot of these. Yes. Get better blokes. Get better blokes. Um. Wow, what an episode. Oh God, is it nearly uh, finished? Yeah. I literally I feel, feel like, like, like a I'm... different man from uh, four hours ago <laughs> when this started. <laughs> Always remember, listen oh. and watch new episodes every Wednesday. And if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for my mum to read, mm. slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give me a message on WhatsApp on 07822-013-837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her. But we might not want to answer those silly questions. Yes. Nonsense. God, I thought you... Okay. What? Nothing. Goodbye. Oh, bye. Bye. It's Mummy's Boy.